if you have a home theater, you need to go get this remote, like, right now. Like, right now. And I'm gonna show you why, right after this. Welcome back. If you're new to the channel, I'm Kedrick Foster. I do unboxings and reviews of all the latest tech. So if you like that type of content, hit that like and that subscribe button. So this right here, the Sofa Baton U1. Now, I found this on Amazon. I was looking for a nice universal remote that I can use to control all my devices that I have down in my home theater setup. So the first one I bought was actually the Harmony remote, Harmony Ultimate, which is a lot more expensive than this remote. This remote will run you about 50 bucks on Amazon. So the first remote I got was about 250 bucks. And you know, I got it, I set it up, and I was really underwhelmed what I got for 250 bucks. So I went ahead and grabbed this one, and this is it. So I'm gonna show you what comes in the box. I'm gonna show you what it could do. And come on, let's go ahead and get into it. So pretty simple box, nothing too fancy, just the box and the remote pretty much. So it does come with two AA batteries. So let me just give you a rundown of what you can do with this. So this runs off of RF, of course, and it also runs off of Bluetooth. So you'll be able to sync this up with your uh, Fire Stick or any of the, like the uh, media players that run off of Bluetooth. So if you like me and you have a fire stick, you know how small that remote is, you know how easy it is to lose that remote. So with this, you'll be able to control that through this. All right, so if we take a look at the remote, you can see it has the scroll wheel on it, which allows you to cycle through the different devices. You can pair up to 10 devices on this remote. Let me make sure I'm in focus, make sure you can see this. You work everything through the app. I'm gonna bring it up on my phone and show you how the app works. But pretty much a tour around the remote has your, your pretty much your normal buttons. These four buttons here are programmable, so you can set them to certain functions that you want. Let's go ahead and go into the app so I can show you how that works. All right, so we're gonna add the device model. We're gonna add the manufacturer. And then we're gonna add the actual model number. Eight or the search. All right, so you will be brought to this. So the Sony is a TV. So you want to hit TV. So now what you got to do is point the remote towards the TV. It's going to start testing codes to make sure it works. So I have the remote. I'm going to point it towards the TV. TV's over here. So I just have it aimed that way. I'm going to hit next. And it's gonna go through a couple different commands. So now it's testing to see if the power works. So I'll hit the power button here. And that worked, it turned the TV off. So I'll just hit yes. And it's gonna just verify a couple different other commands just to make sure they're all working. Rewind and all of that. I'll hit yes. Did the command work? Hit yes. And after that, that's pretty much much it. So you have your device name. You can change that if you want. I'm gonna say Sony Sony OLED, and you can change your device. So I'll just leave it as the TV, and go to next. So now it's programming the remote. You can see here it's programming the information into the remote, saying downloading. And once that's done, it'll come up with this screen. This pretty much is showing you all the buttons that were programmed. I'm gonna hit done. And now you'll see the Sony on your remote. And now if you scroll down to the bottom, you can see that the Sony is there. And like I said earlier, the way you actually use this is whichever device you're trying to use, you just use the scroll wheel. Go to that device and then start using it. So like I said, for 50 bucks, this is definitely a fine. Definitely compared to what I paid for that Harmony remote. And like I said, that Harmony remote didn't do anything that this couldn't do. I actually like this one better because of the interface. It's, it's easy to get to what I'm trying to control. So if you want to check this out, I'll leave a link down in the description area. If you have any more questions about how to operate this remote, 
drop them down in the comment section. I'll be sure to get to them. But I want to thank y'all for watching. Again, if you like this type of content, make sure you hit that like and that subscribe button. And until the next time, I'll see y'all later. Peace out.